Hey everybody, you're watching Ready Set Drone, and today I have the world's second smallest thermal camera. It is a camera that you can connect to an Android device and get all kinds of cool statistics and colors and thermal information just by walking around and using this camera. So stay tuned and we'll check it out. So first of all, thanks to Thermal Master for sending us this uh, thermal camera. It is, again, the world's second smallest, and I was like, why would they advertise it as that? Well, the reason is because they actually make the smallest as well, I think. So this is the second smallest that they make, and it comes in a pretty handy-dandy little uh, package here. It's small, uh, but this isn't even it. This is actually the case that it comes with. This case has a little carabiner in the package if you wanted to clip it to a belt or something. There you go, you can carry it with the little carabiner. Uh, but this is the case that protects it, and inside this case is the actual camera. And it is pretty tiny. It's right there. It's a little USB-C connector camera on the end, so therefore it doesn't have to be charged or anything because it runs off the power of a USB-C device. Now, I am an iPhone guy, uh, I have a lightning cable on my iPhone, and I actually don't think it works with uh, iOS anyway. It's got a free app that works on an Android device. It's called Tempmaster. You can download it and install it, and then once you've done that, you just actually put the camera right into the USB-C slot, and then you can use it as a video recording device, or you can use it as a photographic device under several different modes. In a couple of modes, it shows you different colors based on the thermal signature of them. In a couple of modes, it actually shows you the temperature of whatever you touch on the screen. So when you touch something, it has a sensor that kind of knows based on uh, what it's reading, what the temperature is. It's great for looking at drones, which of course is what we like to do. It's great for looking at your car engine when it's hot. It's great at looking at air conditioning ducts if you want to see if they're cooling well and also great for looking for leaks and things like that. It's really an interesting little device. I've never had a thermal camera before, and to have one this small is pretty amazing because it is tiny, tiny little camera. The resolution in the video is not great, and the video does tend to have a little bit of stuttering. I think it might be in a lower frame rate, like 15 frames a second or something like that. So it's not gonna give you like HD or 4K video quality, and the photos aren't going to be high resolution, but they're big enough to see what's going on, and it makes a really cool effect if you just wanna play with it and see how things look when you're reading the heat coming off of something. Look at this desk. Can you tell what needs a fan? Wow. <laughs> so let's, let's touch it to see how, let I me mean, touch the actual thing to see, is it, is it cool? Oh yeah, warm? yeah. It's okay, warm. so I'll turn the fan back on. Look at, look at the difference now, so that, box that was all red yeah. now is red oh. on this side, but not where the fan is blowing on it. Yeah. It's really low res, like. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. Like, like do you, can, you, can you see through my clothes? Oh yeah, full, full nude shot. Um, no. <laughs> so that's a window. Infrared is bouncing off the window and we can't see outside until we Open the door. Where everything is cooler. Yeah. Now what about tires? Those? Yeah, the tire is a little bit warmer than the rest of the car. You're just a blue man. So now I'm gonna come in and you're still blue, you're still blue, you're still blue, you're still blue. And now you're green. Everything else is blue. Oh, now you're turning red a little bit. Okay. But now am I really red? <laughs> yes, you're really red. <laughs> Here, let me see you. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I can see you perfectly. Wow. Even where you're stepping, it's leaving it's leaving little green spots where you're really? stepping. Yeah. You can just put my shoes so if I put my hands down on carpet. I yeah. Can lift them up. Oh yes. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, what the and it's fading. Here. Okay, ready? Carpet? Oh, <laughs> that's, crazy. that's crazy. Okay, try it on the on the hardwood to see if it's any any different. Okay. Oh yeah, one on each. Okay. It's 
Strangely enough, the carpet is more pronounced. That's not what I would have expected. The table feels cold. Yeah. Oh yeah, and we got we got some evidence. Wow. <laughs> is that gonna fade away? It's like not fading away. Yeah, it's not really fading. Oh, and you can see like where the leaks are for heat. Oh yeah. Oh, they turned bright red on the edges. And everything else went bluer just because of the contrast, you know? It's kind of like auto exposure. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's warm. Mm. You can feel that. So if you're an Android user and you're looking for a little thermal camera that's pretty easy to set up and easy to use, this is a great one. It's uh, not cheap, but it's also not expensive. I think it's a good budget uh, beginner thermal camera that you could use to do all kinds of things, particularly if you're in an industry where you wanna see where things are getting hot or getting cold, if you're doing home repairs, if you're doing motor repairs, if you're trying to suss out your air conditioner in your house or your office and see if it's working well, all great opportunities to actually use it from a practical point of view. And then of course you can just goof around like we like to do. I'd say the biggest shortcoming for me on this is that it's not a self-contained device. It has to be connected to an Android device in order to work. And so it's not really something you could put on a drone, which is what I was originally thinking I would do. I suppose if you wanted to put Chris's phone on a drone and fly with it, uh, we could give that a shot, but Chris likes his phone, so we're not gonna do that. So if you just wanna walk around with something in your hand connected to an Android device, this is a great little option to do just that. Let me know what you think about thermal cameras, and we'll see you next time on Ready, Set, Drone. I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear sound, that? It didn't sound good. It sounded French. No, it was Chinese. Was it Chinese? Yeah.